The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy. But now this year is twice as special. Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter. Hey friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am so excited you guys. We are on my front porch today decorating for Christmas 2020 and y'all know my porch is my jam. I started my YouTube channel just on my porch. So I am so happy. I feel so at home when I'm out here. I just love how I connect with the community here. We live in a wonderful little town where our house is actually kind of a focal point of the community here. So I'm really excited to be decorating and bringing all the Christmas vibes for our town today. But let me start by telling you my inspiration for today is kind of like a ski lodge Hallmark vibe. Um, I wanted to try something I've never done before and it's probably about 76 degrees out right now. It's kind of hot. So I didn't know how I was gonna pull this off, but I think I found a couple different ways and it ends up looking super cute. So definitely stick around to see how this porch turns out. So I'm gonna be doing a ski lodge vibe. I'm gonna be using these two pencil trees that I picked up at Michael's two years ago. I love these. They're extremely easy to work with, super versatile. I can use them anywhere in my house. Our house is an 1891 Victorian, so it's a little hard to work with at times and these trees are freaking perfect to fit in all those little nooks and crannies. If you guys watch my other videos, you see that I've got eight trees in the house. So to get started, I'm going to be using our mat I got from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago and then this awesome Merry Christmas, which I just died for from Joann's. And then these two tree skirts I picked up at Target Dollar Spot, which is crazy. Like these were only five bucks a piece probably two years ago. I love them. They've got little X's on the other side or crosses if depending, but um, I really love these. I'm gonna flip them on the other side because I'm actually covering this whole area with some fake snow. And then I'm gonna be using these awesome little garlands. I'm going to start decorating the Christmas tree just to start to bring in some of those reds. I'm gonna be using lots of these pine cones, lots of natural elements, some pops of red, and then all kinds of ski vibes throughout this front porch. And then I'm gonna be waiting till the very end when our poinsettias get delivered. I cannot wait to show you those. They are so stunning. But I found these cute little booties, so I got four of these to tuck in the tree, one for each of my kids. I have four kids and I just thought this would be super fun to kind of add. And then I'm gonna be using this amazing uh, ribbon. It's super soft, it almost feels like wool. It's so soft. And I'm just gonna be cascading this down the tree. Um, tell me in the comments down below, guys, do you put trees in your front yard? I've seen so many of you on my Instagram channel, which is Mrs. Lauren Nicholson. You guys have been sharing your front porches with me and I didn't realize this. This is my first year ever putting a Christmas tree on my porch, but so many of you guys use Christmas trees on your front porch and I freaking love it. It's so brilliant. Tell me in the comments down below, do you guys use Christmas trees on your front porch? Don't know where, don't know how. Lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So oh, it's true. I'm so glad. So if you guys have watched a lot of our videos, you know that our house is still a little bit under construction and there's a big gallon of black paint right here behind my head. And I came home the other day and I kind of freaked out a little bit. You guys know that we lost our dog, Miss Ellie, who used to scratch up this door all the time. And I told my husband, never ever paint this door. You can see the scratches right here, but never ever paint this door. And I also don't ever want to paint the threshold of where our door is. Our house is in 1891 Victorian. And I just feel like the threshold of a home is such an important place. So many people have walked through it. So many people have walked out of it. Some good, some bad, some indifferent, but I just, those are two areas. But he assured me they're just painting the new weather stripping that they just secured to the bottom of the door here, you can see. And I was so happy because I, I have no plans of painting our door. I miss Ellie so much. And these little scratches remind me of 15 and a half amazing years we had with her. So I'm gonna start finishing 
uh, decorating this tree. I I love decorating like kind of over the top but at the end of the day I still want to see the greenery so I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm just going to add a couple little finishing touches and then I'm going to get started on our rocking chairs. I found some awesome pillows from Joann's this year. Unfortunately they came stained so I am still waiting to receive the replacement ones which you'll see on my Instagram. If you guys are over there you'll see all of this when it's totally finished uh, before anybody else but I'm going to add those and then I'm going to get started on the decor part, which I'm super excited about. watched my entryway decorate with me I have a snow vibe going on in there and I wanted to continue that vibe out here onto the porch actually I wanted to continue that vibe into the house because I knew I was gonna be putting snow out here so I'm just gonna be using a bunch of this fake snow that I picked up from Michaels I absolutely love this stuff it's so funny if you're gonna be out shopping and you get a little bit from Michaels and a little bit from Hobby Lobby they're gonna be totally different so Definitely, if you're gonna pick fake snow, get it from one company because the stuff I got was totally different at both places. So I'm gonna add these two sleighs. I couldn't find one of my sleighs this year, so I went to Michael's and bought another one to only find that I had packed this with one of my trees like a moron. So now I have two sleighs, which is no problem, girl. Slay all day. So I'm just gonna keep adding on more snow here and then this cute little Santa uh, mailbox that I picked up two years ago from Michael's on a totally good sale. It's like their end to end to end to end uh, Christmas sale. I think I got this for 80% off and I absolutely love it. And I'm actually gonna change out this wreath I really love this wreath. I picked it up from Target, but it doesn't go with the front porch. So I end up changing it out for one that I actually DIY'd. And then I'm gonna be adding some nice little uh, candles for here. And then my poinsettias come the next day. So definitely stick around to see how those turn out because those really transform this entire space. And don't you love my uh, fall decor over there? I actually made my children take all 21 of these pumpkins and put them in the garbage can and it was some of the most fun we've ever had like it was hilarious watching them take these pumpkins to the garbage so i'm gonna get everything set up and then as soon as i'm done here we're gonna get started on the poinsettias 
a couple of these wreaths. I have probably have 20 of these. I usually hang these in all the windows around our house, but I'm not going to do that this year. I'm going to do something a little different. So I'm going to make these kind of like a little present. I love wrapping things a little bit like presents. We wanted to wrap the house this year, but um, the team that we would have had do that uh, came up with a little bit of an issue. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to wrap the house this year. I'm so bummed, but next year, next year. And um, so I'm just going to wrap these here and then I'm going to be adding some bows down the walkway and um, two more on our garage doors just to kind of bring it around the property. There's one side of our house that I've actually never decorated. I don't know if I'm gonna decorate it this year, but I might, so definitely stick around on my channel. I may do, our house actually sticks out on a peninsula, so we have no neighbors on our sides of our house. So it's kind of fun to decorate the entire property. I just don't know if I wanna do it this year. Tell me in the comments down below, guys, what should I do with this giant white house? This moment to have you for myself. In a cabin out of nowhere Just us and no one else I've decorated everything Till we perfect for this week Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me Whoa, oh, oh La, da, 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 oh, oh, oh La, da, 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 oh, oh, oh La, da, da, da Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you if you guys follow me on my Instagram channel, you know I have an absolute love affair with these pistache trees. It is, we call this our love story. This is our, our house we call our love story. And if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen me and my four kids making one of the world's largest leaf piles ever. We have been jumping in it. We have invited our neighbor kids over to jump in it. It's kind of like wherever you are, if you have snow and you guys have like an awesome snow pile, like that's our jam. Like we've been collecting leaves. I was kind of laughing, like we're the only person in the neighborhood who actually asks our landscaper to blow all the leaves onto our property. So anyway, I'm gonna clean up all the leaves and add it to our pile. And then all of my um, poinsettias arrived today. So I'm going to be adding them. I've got really big ones. I have medium sized ones and then some tiny ones. Ones, and I'm going to be adding them to the front steps. Some of these are actually um, 
a little bit smaller than I had expected. So I might end up getting some more. So definitely follow me on Instagram so you can see the transformation of that. And then I got these four little Christmas trees from the uh, Home Depot, which is just super fun to kind of add. I'm not gonna be adding lights here because we have an LED snow machine uh, light show that goes on our house at night. So it's super amazing. It's like unreal. It actually looks like the house is snowing. It's so cool. I will try to capture it on my Instagram channel, but I'll tell you guys, it is so hard to actually see it. You have to actually come to the house to see it. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to finish up these and then we're done. So I hope you guys continue to watch and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you're enjoying this little Christmas decor we have. I do notice I'm a little more dressed up in this video than usual. It's because I just came home from work when I found all our point set is here on the porch. So sorry, I got so excited. I was like, oh, I got a video of this for my people. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you guys like home decor as much as I do. And definitely like this video if you're enjoying Christmas. And I cannot wait to hear in the comments down below what your favorite part of our ski lodge front porch was this year. I'll see you guys really soon. Bye. Digging the air